going on? So we're heading to Comic-Con, Robin. Uh, is your second year going uh, to the Portland Comic-Con? This is my second year, yep. Yeah, last year we saw Stan Lee, Billy D. Williams, Peter Mayhew, who's Chewbacca, Adam West. So, you know, it was a re pretty rich tapestry from all across geekdom. And I'm also very excited, super excited to see some of the costumes that people dress up in. It's always, always thrilling to see what people come up with. Last year, I gave a little, quick little speech to kind of kick off um, Comic-Con, but ribbon cutting, that's something I had in my resume. If you had a starting five, uh, who would it be? Well, obviously, you'd have to put the Flash in there, and I really think once you put him on the team, it kind of becomes a moot point, but um, let's see. I think at center, I'd put Plastic Man. You know, very, very stretchy, long arms, kind of have an Anthony Davis thing going, and. He's, he's, he's funnier than Anthony, too, to boot. At point guard, you gotta have somebody like Captain America or Batman, one of them. Either one is a brilliant strategist. <sighs> Shooting guard, Hawkeye or Green Arrow, one of the archers. I, myself, would probably go with Green Arrow because I'm a DC guy, but, you know, he teach his own. And power forward, some, something that's, to me, somebody that's a little bit of a tank, but with a little finesse. And I think that's got to be Cyborg from the Teen Titans. He, he, play, he played football in high school too, so he was a big, big football prospect before he got, became a Cyborg. I was thinking you'd go Hulk there. Well, Hulk, no, no. If he, if he can keep his temper in check, I, I'd throw him in, no problem. He, he'd be great to have in the paint, but... He's a good six man. I, I think he'd pick up two technicals just like that. And... Um, now, you're, you have some artistic ability yourself, we've seen on Instagram. When did you start publicizing your, your artistic ability? I figured the best way to make sure I kept, to, I kept drawing and held myself accountable in that regard was by making sure the public kind of had to hold me accountable. The designs on your, on your shoes that you've done, the custom Rolos, do you just come up with that in the moment, or do you kind of uh, have a blueprint? Sometimes I have ideas, sometimes I have blueprints, and sometimes it's just kind of on a whim. It really varies. We, we got to ask the Women Crush Wednesday. You've, you've drawn portraits of uh, certain females that uh, have made your list. Is there a lot of pressure because you're actually drawing another person? A little bit, a little bit, yeah. And um, I, I, I like to think I've been very flattering so far. You know, I, I like to think I have pretty good taste as well. Aubrey Plaza. Emmy Raz, um, I mean. You've become the uh, villain of mascots around the NBA. What's going on there? I, I think I'm kind of a hero. <laughs> I, I, th I feel like I'm standing up, standing up for our squad, doing what I'm doing, especially now that I'm injured. It's my way, uh, my way of participating a little bit, I think. The Atlanta Hawk circled the date January 30th and said, watch out, Rolo, we're waiting for you. What's your game plan headed into Atlanta, not the basketball game itself, the, 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 the matchup with you and the Atlanta Hawk? I've always got my 360 hypersenses going, so it may not seem as if I'm paying too much attention, but I'm, I'm always very perceptive to my surroundings. So I, I, I can tell you, anything that's going on, I'll be aware. And so mascots, mascots aren't the sneakiest people on the planet either. For some reason, they like to announce their presence on, on jumbotrons and such. Clearly, Portland loves you, and it seems like you love Portland. Is this a place that you would consider living? I think so, yeah. Yeah? Um, I, lo I love being back on the West Coast. I think I've stayed that a lot, but I can't stress that enough. Uh -huh. But um, the people here, it's just, it's just nice and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Just kind of feel like a regular Joe, which I actually I enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go to Comic-Con. <laughs>